Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be going over the latest Briarfest 2021 news, my thoughts on all of it, and what I have planned for it so far. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The first bit of news was released on the morning of Monday, January 4th, and it introduced us to the new Briarfest 2021 celebration horse. Her name is Danisha's Northern Tempest, or Danny for short. She is an Appaloosa Frisian cross owned by Laura Reese. They were the circuit champions for Russ Stirrup for ESP's 2019-2020 Holiday Series, and she's competed in a bunch of other events with the trainer Ashley Gilsa. This is a really stunning horse. You can read more about her on the Briarfest blog and also see some video clips of her on Briar's YouTube channel. You can also find the horse Danny on Instagram at Danny the Wonder Horse. I'll have all of those linked in the video description down below. We now, of course, have to talk about the stunning portrait model of this mare, which is the celebration model for Briarfest 2021. This means that depending on which Briarfest ticket you order, you will get one of these models for free with your ticket. She is a beautiful varnish roan Appaloosa on the True North mold. So far, I've been seeing a lot of love for this horse and model, and it's really hard not to love this model when it's such a great combination of a flashy color and a popular mold. This is probably one of the most intricate celebration horses Briar has ever made. She has a complex Appaloosa pattern all over her body, intricate markings on her forehead and muzzle. She even has some added details like a two-toned mane, striped hooves, and a varnish flex in her coat. I agree with pretty much everyone else that this model is amazing, and I cannot wait to get her. I'm usually always pretty excited for these celebration models, but this girl I am extra excited about. A little later that Monday, Briar made another really big announcement that Briarfest will only be virtual this year. Now, I know there are some mixed feelings about that. I have my own set of mixed feelings, but overall, I'm actually very happy about this. As much as I hope the current world situation gets better in six months, it's too early to tell right now, and I think Briar deciding to make 2021 Briarfest a virtual event and just sticking to that is a much, much better option than them trying to plan an in-person Briarfest and then having to cancel it a few months later. Keep in mind all of the time and effort and resources that goes into them trying to plan for an in-person Briarfest, only for that to get thrown out the window. This year, they are able to focus all of their efforts onto making as great of a virtual Briarfest experience as they can. I actually think this is going to be really good in the long run, too, because they have confirmed again that they will always be doing a virtual component to Briarfest, kind of like a hybrid of in-person Briarfest and virtual Briarfest in later years. Having this year where it's only virtual, it means they are really going to be able to lay out the groundwork for making virtual Briarfest great for those that can't attend in person in future years. There are already some concerns about this year's virtual Briarfest based on how last year's went. I'm personally not too concerned because there is some key things to keep in mind here when comparing last year's Briarfest to this year's. Last year's virtual Briarfest was done very last minute. They literally threw that event together in a couple of weeks. This time, they have an entire year to plan it out. They've already been planning since last year's Briarfest. If they made last year's virtual event in a couple weeks, think of how great they'll be able to make it this year with a whole year to make it happen. Briar was also able to take everyone's feedback from last year's event and apply it to this year. Jamie even said in Briar's video that they've taken people's feedback into consideration and are improving upon the event based on that. I know one of the main issues last year was items from the pop-up store and Briar store selling out lightning fast. I bet they're coming up with new ways to resolve that and make more people happy. And based on the more recent information they put out, it does sound like they are trying to fix that aspect of virtual Briarfest. Overall, I'm just very happy that Briar has decided to make this decision now about making it only virtual. It honestly even lifts a little weight off my own shoulders because I've already been worrying about what I'll do this year, if Briarfest would be in person, and if it would be safe enough to attend, and all the travel plans I'd need to make. Knowing ahead of time, I won't have to deal with that uncertainty, and this way I'm able to make my own virtual plans ahead of time. 
With this announcement that Briarfest will be virtual, they stated in the Briarfest blog that there'll be more ways to interact with other Briar fans around the globe, an enhanced shopping experience, hours of entertainment, workshops and model horse shows, a streamlined ticketing process, fun contests, and tons of beautiful models. Our design and production teams have been seeing spots and stripes for months now as we develop our largest collection of exclusive models to date. Reveals will start earlier than ever before, so be sure to follow the Briarfest blog for all the latest updates. You don't want to miss a thing. That first part of the statement is the awesome fact that they'll be doing so many fun things to virtual Briarfest. It sounds like they'll be bringing a lot back from what they did before, but they'll probably be improving upon all of that as well. And then of course, the other very exciting part of that statement is that they've been developing their largest collection to date and doing model reveals earlier than before. I'm already going to predict that there will be 9 or 10 special runs this year. I don't know if that's true yet, but that's just based on the fact that they added a 9th special run last year, and they did say they're expanding their model line this year. Therefore, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they do 9 or even 10 special run models for 2021. I also bet they'll be adding more to the Briar Store and Pop-Up Tent, which this year is actually going to be called something else. I'll cover that information later on in the video. It's all very exciting, and it's also exciting that we'll know sooner than usual what all of these models will be. I'm guessing by next week we'll probably be seeing model reveals, and I'll of course be doing videos talking about those models as they come out. Another important piece of information that came from that second blog post is that the tickets will be on sale in a few weeks, which is actually different from when Briar normally puts tickets on sale. Normally they would have been up for sale on this past Monday at the beginning of the month, but a later Briarfest blog post tells us that this time they'll be revealing all of the models first, and then they'll be putting the Briarfest tickets up for sale. We'll see how that all goes, but I think in some ways it might be better that they are doing it this way. That they are going to release a bunch of information about Virtual Briarfest and the models first, and then offer the ticket sales after that. I know even for myself, I'm usually unsure how many tickets to purchase at the beginning of the year because I don't know how many of the special runs I want to get. This way, everyone will know ahead of time what models they want and make their appropriate ticket choices from there. Speaking of the tickets, that is what the next Briarfest blog posts have been about. The third announcement came out on Tuesday, January 5th, and this announcement was about introducing how the tickets we're used to seeing have changed. Usually Briar has two main types of tickets, which are single day tickets and three day tickets. And I'm sure they will implement that three day and single day ticket system again when Briarfest is in person. But for this virtual only online event, they are only doing three day tickets. I think that makes a lot of sense to do away with the single day tickets on an online format like this. I kind of doubt that, that too many people are going to want to check out Briarfest for only one day. For this virtual event, they have also done away with the children's and adults tickets. The new tickets are for all ages. There is no distinction between adults or children's tickets like before. This also makes complete sense because unlike at the Kentucky Horse Park, they can't tell who's coming into the event, whether they're an adult or a child. Anyone can go online and so it makes sense that they're not going to do adult or child tickets. This new ticket system has three different tiers. They are three-day all-access VIP, three-day all-access, and three-day general admission. Briar posted a chart on what is included and what you have access to for each ticket. The VIP ticket gets you a celebration model, a stablemates model, access to special run models, and access to limited edition models. That's the initial info for the VIP ticket. But later they released even more information about the different tickets, and it turns out that the VIP ticket includes even more than that. On the latest blog post as of making this video, Briar said this about the VIP all-access tickets. These tickets will go on sale in just a few weeks, and fans wishing to purchase this ticket level will be able to purchase both their ticket to the event and their special run and limited edition models all in one easy transaction. This ticket level includes access to Briarfest all three days, celebration horse included with each ticket, complete set of event stablemate models included with each ticket, pre-select and prepay for two special run models per ticket, pre-select and prepay for a selection of limited edition models per ticket, 
ability to enter Briarfest Open Show, additional fee applies. Add-on workshops, additional fee may apply. Ability to enter Briarfest contests, fund Briarfest swag bag included free with each order, and a $10 coupon for Briarfest swag. So there is all about what the VIP ticket includes. I have already heard some understandable mixed feelings about this ticket, particularly surrounding the ability to pre-purchase special runs and limited edition models with this ticket. There are concerns of people that purchase these tickets being able to buy up all the popular models before the other ticket holders can get to them actually during Briarfest. I completely get that concern, but I'm sure Briar will have a lot of models still set aside for the other ticket holders. I also have a feeling that they are going to really increase the quantities of their models this year, so they will hopefully not sell out as quickly. Another major concern is having to pay for your special runs and limited edition models in just a couple weeks if you choose to purchase this ticket. Not everyone has their Briarfest funds saved up enough to purchase any models yet, and it sounds like from this recent blog post that you will have to purchase your ticket, special runs, and limited edition models all at the same time. I hope they do add some kind of option where people can pay for their ticket and then pay for the rest of their models later on before Briarfest, but so far it doesn't sound like that will be the case. The last concern on this is that the VIP all-access tickets may sell out very quickly, and who knows, they may sell out really fast. It's mostly going to depend on how many of these VIP tickets Briar has available, and if there are any limitations on how many each person or account can purchase. So far they have said that these VIP tickets will be limited, but they didn't say by how much, or if there are any limitations on how many you can purchase. We also don't know what the price of this ticket or any of the tickets will be yet. Based on everything included with this ticket, however, I have a feeling that it will probably be around 100 to 150 for the VIP ticket. That's just my pure speculation based on the fact that you will also be getting a set of stablemates in that ticket, a swag bag, a $10 coupon, and of course that special ability to purchase the models you want ahead of time. When you consider the set of four single day ticket models last year was like $65 alone or something like that, I could easily see them charging a pretty high price for the VIP ticket. However, maybe a higher price will also keep this ticket from selling out immediately. Whatever the case, I know I definitely want one VIP ticket. However, while I do feel like it's super convenient and in some ways less stressful to have this option of purchasing two special runs and their other Briarfest models beforehand, I do also get the feeling it will change a bit the feeling of purchasing those models actually during Briarfest. I think it's just going to feel a little weird to be able to say in the month, oh, I already bought most of my Briarfest models, and now I have several months to wait for Briarfest. I don't know, that's just some of my initial thoughts on it. However, I do think overall, at least for me personally, I am glad about this ticket option because it will eliminate some of the stress during actual Briarfest. When it comes to purchasing the models online and being worried about not being able to get them. Briarfest is also just stressful for me in general, so it would be kind of nice to take at least a little bit of that stress away and know that I'll be getting the models I want the most. Some additional speculation about the VIP tickets. I'm sorry, we're still talking about this particular ticket, but this is just something Briar's never done before, so there's a lot to talk about. Because they're doing this ticket with pre-purchasing the models in advance, it opens up some interesting doors. The first is that it also may be possible that the models people pre-purchase with this ticket will be quantities made in addition to the models they are already making. Now this is technically possible because Briarfest models in previous years have been made around April based on their VIN numbers. If people are pre-ordering these models in February, that might be enough time for more of these models to be made in the spring. Do you get what I'm saying, maybe? I'm sorry if it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm really trying to get this video recorded and out as soon as possible, so I'm sorry if it doesn't make total sense right now. But that's one thought I have. Along with another thought, it makes me wonder if Briar will ship out VIP ticket holder models first a little bit before Briarfest so that they can actually have their models in hand, much like they did with the Celebration model last year. They shipped out some of the Celebration Horse models Reggie before Briarfest 
and they got to some people in time before Briarfest actually started, or actually when Briarfest was going on, they actually got their models in the mail. And if the VIP ticket holders are actually able to pre-purchase their special runs and limited edition models, then there's probably not a whole lot stopping Briar from actually sending those out a little bit early. Again, this is just speculation. I'm sure we'll find out more soon enough. But and now let's actually move on to the other types of tickets before I keep talking about this one type of ticket. The next ticket type is the three-day all-access. And this one is basically like the standard Briarfest three-day tickets we are used to. This ticket includes access to Briarfest all three days, the celebration horse included with each ticket, ability to purchase up to two special run models per ticket, ability to purchase limited edition models, ability to enter Briarfest open show, additional fees apply, add-on workshops, additional fee may apply, ability to enter Briarfest contests. Again, it sounds like the usual three-day ticket we're all used to having when Briarfest was in person or like it was last year. It does also sound like that this particular ticket will deal with the special runs, much like they did last year when they were online. As it says, these ticket buyers will receive preference forms for their special run models in advance of Briarfest weekend. There's probably not a whole lot else to say on this particular ticket. I will probably end up buying one or two of these tickets, I feel like, in order to get the other special runs that maybe aren't as high up on my want list. The final ticket is the three-day general admission. This one sounds a lot like the traditional single-day ticket, except you get access to Briarfest for three days. This ticket only includes access to Briarfest all three days, one randomly selected stablemate model, and access to limited edition models. That will obviously be the cheapest ticket, but it just kind of gives you the bare bones of things to access, just like a normal Briarfest single-day ticket before, because in the past, in order to participate in things like model horse shows and contests and special runs, you had to be a Briarfest three-day ticket holder. So this last ticket is great if you don't want to purchase any special runs or join any contests, and you want to just buy some limited edition models and have a single-day stablemate model and then hang out and enjoy the other Briarfest events. Lastly, this should go without saying, but in case there are some any Briarfest newbies watching this video, shout out to you guys. The special runs and limited edition models, which were formerly the store specials and pop-up store models, they are an additional cost. None of those models come free with your ticket. The only models that come free with your tickets are the Celebration Horses and Stablemates, and those only come free with your respective tickets. Then that's about it on the information given about the tickets so far. Briar is giving out a lot of different information gradually, so I will not be doing a video every single time new information comes out. Instead, I'll be doing new videos just like this one once a week probably on Wednesdays. In these videos, I'll go over any of the latest info since that previous video, and this will include all information about Briarfest, from more information about the tickets, to the virtual events, and the model reveals. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I would also be talking about my own virtual Briarfest plans. Unfortunately, I ran out of time while making this video to include that, so instead, I'll be talking about my virtual Briarfest plans, and I'm talking about like live streams and other things like that in a later video. I'll talk about it either in one of these upcoming Briarfest news videos, or maybe I'll make a separate video just about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Briarfest celebration model. You can also let me know your thoughts about these new virtual tickets. Which one are you planning on getting? What do you hope the special runs or other Briarfest models will be? We don't have that much longer to wait until we see some model reveals. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more Briarfest videos, click that subscribe button and check out my past Briarfest playlists because I do a lot of Briarfest videos. From news videos like this one to survival guide videos, haul videos, and vlogs. Lots and lots of Briarfest stuff. Have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!